my face huh if I lift it up just a little bit let me see here hi mom <laughs> can you see my face because I have to point the camera there we go okay you can see me okay good I just want to make sure because sometimes I, ha I have to point the camera a different angle because the last few videos the um it was it wasn't mirroring so let me mute this video so I'm not talking over it okay um I'm gonna do this quick little project hopefully hopefully I can get it done um, and if I can get it done in enough time I might do one more with the pumpkins with these pumpkin cutouts but we'll see we'll see how we get through this one first and then also on tonight's um, video, I'm going to do a giveaway if we get so many shares. So, hold on. That was one thing I forgot to do was grab. Here it is. My bucket. So, I'm going to do a giveaway tonight. If I get um, so many shares of the video so if you share it if you share the video just comment shared and then I'll write your name down and put your name in the bucket to get a, a free prize so just at the bottom of the video hit share and then comment shared in the comments and then once I see that I will put your name in the bucket for a drawing. So we're going to do that quick little. Um, okay, so if you're just joining in, I'm going to do a giveaway tonight for a free prize. It's going to be one of the projects that I've made. So if you want to um, enter in, just click share on the video and then put in the comments shared and then I'm going to put your name down and put your name in the bucket for a prize so if you want to take advantage of that and tonight I'm going to do this spirit of Halloween um, transfer it's really cute I'm excited to do it I got a bunch of colors here Halloween colors I'm going to use a bunch of those I'm going to reuse my um, Aiden board frame, which is a size 9 by 12. Hey, Kristen. So if you just hopped on, I'm going to do a giveaway tonight. If you want to be entered into the giveaway, um, just share the video and comment shared. And then I'm going to put your name down in a bucket for a free prize. And it's a surprise. It's going to be one of the projects that y'all probably see me make in some other videos. So just hit shared or hit share comment shared and then I will put your name down um, okay so this is the transfer I'm doing tonight I'm gonna reuse this board so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down so I'm gonna use these board one of these board erasers and scrub my little turkey off bye turkey Need a little bit more water. Okay. 
I'm gonna try and do two projects tonight. I am dying to do my little pumpkin cutouts. So we'll see how the video goes. Sometimes I have like issues with the internet and stuff. So if we're doing okay, I'll try and do these pumpkin cutouts next after this one, which I'm excited to do. All right. So this is one of the surfaces that we offer on the website. It's the Grace, or it's the Aiden, sorry, nine by 12 Aiden white frame board. And it is reusable. As you can see, I just erased it with some regular water. And I use these board erasers that we sell on the website. Just wanna give it one more quick once over to make sure I've got all of the image or all of the chalk paste off. So it's all clean. Okay. Now, my trash. Okay. Kristen, I got you shared. And Tracy. Kristen B and Tracy T. Thank you guys for sharing. Put your name in the bucket. Okay, so share, 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 and then comment shared, and then I will enter you into the drawing. Okay, open this up. Okay, you want to label your back of your transfer. The reason why we do this is because um, these transfer backings, why am I writing that? Spirit of Halloween. These transfer backings, one of the um, sides is going to be like a paper side and then the other side is glossy. You always want to reapply your transfer back onto the glossy side, not the paper side. So that's why we do that. Also, it helps you keep up to keep up with which backing your transfer goes to because sometimes I'll have a bunch of projects going on at once and I have all these transfer backings and I lose track of which one it goes to. Okay, I'll move all this out of the way for now. Okay. First, I'm gonna just fuzz it a little bit. Since it's a new transfer, this is our fuzzing cloth or towel. You can get this on the website also, and they're awesome. Before I got it, I was trying to use like kitchen towels and stuff, and it just was not doing the job. So it really comes in handy to fuzz your transfers. All right, let me center this on. I even use my squeegee to kind of make sure I get out all the air bubbles. Okay, you guys, if y'all are watching and you just joined in, we're doing a giveaway tonight for one of the projects that I made. And all you have to do to enter is share the video and then comment shared. And then um, at the end of the video, I'll do the drawing. Okay, so that's on there, good. Now I have a bunch of colors that I'm gonna be using. Um, obviously can't do black on black chalkboard, so I'm gonna be using the orange, purple, okay, I have orange peel, grape soda, bright white, and I think I'm gonna try and put a little bit of green in there. This is Green Envy. So my first color I think I'm gonna go with is the grape soda for the spooky. We'll do that. I'm gonna try and like go in a pattern. So I'll do purple, then orange, and then I'll do 
do green and then I'll do white. I know I definitely want to do ghosts in white, so hopefully it lines up like that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna give this a stir. Every time someone pops on, that goes away. Hey, Erin. So we're doing a giveaway tonight. If you just joined, um, just hit share down at the bottom of the video and then comment shared so I see that you shared it. And then I'm gonna put your name in the bucket for a drawing for one of the projects that I made. And it will be a surprise. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the drawing to see who wins. So all you gotta do is share it and and then comment share. Okay. First, first word up is the spooky. I always get like chalk paste in my hair or something because I'll be, I'll have it on my finger and then I'll go to like move my hair to my face. But that's okay, it's not toxic, so that's, that's a good thing. All right. And then I think I'm gonna do the black cats in orange peel. Thank you for sharing. I will put your name in the bucket in a minute. I'm gonna try to work on this because I've got to kind of do this before it dries. So just remind me to put your name in the bucket. Okay. So I'm gonna do a technique called paste and peel. If you want to work slowly on a project, like for instance this one, because I'm gonna be doing multiple colors, you want to put a little bit of paste down, peel it up, and that way your chalk paste doesn't dry on your transfer, because if it dries, then when you go to peel it off, it'll just peel up with the transfer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna peel up just this portion that I did. That way it doesn't dry. Ugh, my nails, they're too short, okay. So you don't ever wanna peel up from the corner. You just wanna peel up the corner to get it going and then get your whole side up and then peel from like the middle, like this. Okay. So I went ahead and peeled that up. That way it's not gonna dry. And then I'm gonna put the rest of it back down so I can keep on working on the rest of my design. Okay, if y'all are just tuning in, we're gonna do a, a giveaway for one of the projects that I made. And I'm gonna put your name in this bucket. All you have to do is share the video. So once you share, comment share and then I will put your name in the bucket for a free giveaway prize. It's a surprise. And then Erin, I'm gonna go ahead and write your name down so I don't forget. All right, you are entered. Okay. Next I'm gonna go with is Halloween in green. Green Envy. And I haven't even opened this one up yet, so let's go ahead and pop this one open. My nails are too short. <laughs> I don't really want to use my teeth because I don't want to accidentally eat any. usually not that hard to open. Let me use these scissors just to get it going. <laughs> usually they just pop right off. This one's just being a pain in the butt. Hold on, let me get it open. Okay. Give this 
you want to stir. Okay. So this one's going to go over the word Halloween. Okay, so um, scrape off your excess and just a little spot right there. All right, so I got that in green. I'm going to go ahead and peel it up. And put the rest of it back down like that and let me see I guess I'll go ahead and do the trick-or-treat in white <laughs> hey dad mom did you share the video is that what you're saying me too or <laughs> Remember, you got to share it and then comment shared and I'll put your name in. Okay. This is going to be so cute. I can't wait. I've been waiting to do this one. And I wanted to do it on live because I'm sure you guys will want to see it when it's done. It's going to be so cute. It's one of my favorite transfers. I've been waiting to get this one since I saw it. I actually want to do like a pillow with it. I think that would be cute to do a pillow with the... Um, the Spirit of Halloween transfer on there in like just all black on a canvas pillow or something. That would be really cute. I hear your voice repeating. I don't know what the, oh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's because, hold on. Let me mute this other one. Let me know if you still hear it. Is it like an echo? that one up and now I'm gonna go back with the purple okay and I'm gonna do the haunted houses in purple I love this purple this is like isn't this the perfect purple for Halloween. I'm sad that they're going to retire this color because it is so pretty. It's just like that perfect bright Halloween color. Okay, so remember you scrape off all the excess just like that. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I have time to do the the next little part, October 31st. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that in green, and then I'm gonna do the um, the ghost in white. Cause remember, I said I wanted to do ghost in white. Hey, Gladys, thank you. Remember, share the video. I'll put your name. I'm going to do a drawing. So share the video and comment shared, and then I'll put your name down in the bucket for a free prize. We'll do the drawing at the end of the video. 
So I'm going to do this part in green because I want to do my ghost in white and then um, my jack-o'-lantern at the bottom in orange, orange peel. And I kind of got a little bit of the purple over here in the October 31st, but I am totally okay with that. I don't, that's not going to bother me. That's fine. Alright, I'm going to peel this part up. Remember, you don't want it to dry. Oh, and I missed a spot on my um, S. So I'm just going to lay it back down and touch that little spot up on the S that I missed. Now we're going to go back with our white and put in, put the ghost, Carrie James. Okay. I'm going to put your name down for the giveaway. Carrie J. Thank you for sharing. All right. You're entered. We are almost at the bottom. After this one, we have one more little spot to go on the bottom, and then we're going to peel it all off and see how cute it looks. We're almost there. I didn't catch the beginning of the video. What kind of paint are you using? carry so it's actually not paint it's um chalk paste and um it's it's a special formula it's water soluble you can wipe it right off go it goes on most surfaces you could pretty much put it on anything um and then we sell exclusive surfaces that it will be a, reusable so you can wipe the chalk paste right off with water just regular water and then you can reuse the surface again. And the transfers are actually reusable as well. So this transfer that I have on here right now, I could wash it off. It's made with silk screen. And once I wash it off with water, I could reuse it again. You can reuse it up to like 15 times if you take good care of it and wash it right away. Alright, so I'm going to peel this up. And there's our ghost. Oh, it looks so cute already. I cannot wait till I get this all done. So I said I was going to work slow because I'm doing so many colors. And when you do that, you want to just work a little bit at a time, peel it up as you go. Okay, so the last part here is the part that says jack-o'-lantern. And I'm going to do that part in orange peel because I just think it should be in orange when it says jack-o'-lanterns. Scrape off your excess. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, you ready? This is going to be so cute. I'm excited. Okay. And there's the last part. Look. Oh my God. I love it. It is so pretty. All right. Let me hold it up so you can see. Can you see that? I love all of the colors. The grape soda, the orange peel, the green envy, and the white. All of that was just perfect for Halloween. Perfect, perfect Halloween colors. Okay. And then I'm even going to do like a little added touch. I'm going to put a ribbon around it. Hold on. Let me get all of these chalk paste jars closed up really quick. If you guys have any questions, just comment on the bottom and I'll try to 
answer them while I get all of these jars closed up. Thank you, Carrie. I love it too. I'm like a Halloween fanatic. So I know it's only still August, but I'm crazy like that. So I've already started <laughs> decorating for fall and Halloween. And so I've been waiting to do this one and stick it up in my little entryway up on the shelf that I have. Do you guys love it? I love it too. It is so cute. It's so pretty. And that purple is showing up so good on the um, black background. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't show up because purple on black is kind of dark, but it showed up perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this ribbon and I'm going to show you guys one more cute little thing I'm going to just add to it just because I'm extra like that and I always add a little bit of extra stuff to everything. Why not? Have fun with it. If I can just get it wrapped around here. Hold on. I'm going to lay it back down so you can see. <laughs> yes, I did. I've always loved Halloween. Like, it's my favorite, favorite time of year. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bow around the top with my burlap ribbon that I have since last year. I found this ribbon at the craft store and it's one of my favorite ones because of the color. It reminds me of like a plaid sweater or a shirt. I already put that pumpkin I got last night on my front door. <laughs> that pumpkin is so pretty, Kristen. I need to go get me one like that. I've been looking for a pumpkin to put out in front of my front door just like that, actually. Because I'm starting to change up like my flowers and stuff out front and I need a pumpkin out there or something. I don't care about the neighbors looking past and saying, oh my gosh, she's already got pumpkins out. I don't care. I love it. I actually want to leave my fall stuff up all year round. I really would. But I think everybody here would think I'm crazy if I did that. <laughs> $8. That is not bad at all. I need like two of them. Okay, so you see I just tied this little burlap ribbon around it and made a cute little bow. And look, isn't that cute? That is even better. It's adorable. I cannot wait to put this up in my entryway for Halloween. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to put it right here behind me for now. And I think I'm going to do one more project. And I think it's going to be these pumpkins. Because I've been waiting to do these two and they're so freaking cute. So these are pumpkin cutouts. My husband said thankful and blessed, not just welcome. Yeah, those would be really cute. I need to get one of those. Okay. So we have these cutouts are on the website. Um, they come two in a pack. You get a 10 inch and a six inch. And then they go perfectly with the pumpkin patterns transfer. So this is this big size right here. You get four patterns with it and um, you can cut them out and you can use these pumpkins are reversible so you could use both sides and i think i'm going to do one side halloweenish if that's a word and then the other side i'm going to save and do for um thanksgiving so here we go i'm going to cut these up do the stripes one i think i'm, I'm definitely going to do the stripes one and probably black 
and then I'm going to do an orange one. I haven't decided which tall one I want to do an orange one. So in the comments, tell me which one I'll do whichever pattern I see more of in the comments. So, so far we have a boat for stripes. So if we have like this little, um, I don't know what you would call that. That's like a, oh, dropping stuff. It's like a, um, I don't know, kind of looks like a sweater cardigan type pattern. And then we have the stripes, the polka dots. And then this pretty one, it has like, I don't know, kind of looks like vines or berries or something. The diamond one, the stripes and the diamond one. Okay. Let's just cut these out. Really quick. Which pattern one, Erin? Which pattern pumpkin? Tell me which one you want to see me do in the comments. Which two? I could do both sides, but we have to let the we have to let it dry before we do the other side. Which it won't take long. That's the awesome thing about these chalk paste is they dry super fast. Like maybe takes three minutes or so for it to dry. So I will do both sides. Just and then um, colors. I think I want to do orange and black for one side. And then I want to do another one in fall, like fall color. <clears throat> so here's my fall colors. I have curry, I have bumblebee, I have orange. I don't know if there's a whole lot of green pumpkins, maybe. And then the grape soda, I'm not sure if I want to go with for these pumpkins. That would be cute, but not tonight. I'm not going to do those tonight. And then I have the black, and I think that's it. I have eucalyptus over there too, but that's not really fall. It's kind of in between. You meant the diamond pattern. Okay. So I saw stripes, and I saw a diamond. You mean this one? This one, right? Yeah, that would be cute. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. Or we could do stripes and this one together and then, I don't even know, <laughs> I'm confused now. Okay, and then I'm gonna do those in black. I'll do that one in orange. Let me stick these over here for now. So if anybody's just tuning in, we're going to do a free giveaway tonight for, our, for a project that I made. It's going to be a surprise. All you have to do to enter is share the video and then comment shared. And then once you do, I'll put your name in the bucket. And at the end of the video, we'll do, we'll draw the names. I am thirsty. I'm sorry. I have to drink some of my gear. It gets super hot in this craft room. Okay. So I'm going to fuzz our transfer really good first. I haven't used these pumpkin cutouts yet, so I'm excited. I love them. They're so cute. Put that back there. Buzz, 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 really good. All right, so they line up perfectly onto the pumpkins. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles. If you do, just lift up your transfer and place it down again. So if you get bubbles in your transfer, 
And when you go to put your chalk paste on, it will bleed and then you'll have like a blobby area <laughs> that you'll have to clean up with water. I use my squeegee sometimes to get it to stick on there really good. All right, here we go. Erase my black. I know I want to do this one in black. I think that'll be really pretty. The black and white always looks really pretty. All right. So you want to stir your chalk paste really good. You want it to have that yogurt-like consistency, just like that. So if you were to like pour yogurt out, you want it to look like that. This actually could get a little bit of water. Like one little squirt of water. So I want it to glide on there like butter when I go to apply it. All right, see, there you go. That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get a mini squeegee for this one. I'll save my small squeegee for the bigger pumpkin. <laughs> All right, here we go. You can also use these pumpkin transfers on like any other surface. So, um, so like the board that I just did back here that you saw me do the spirit Halloween design on, you could put the pumpkin patterns on there. You could layer it and that would look really cute. And then, um, oop, I got a blob somewhere where I don't need it. Okay, just cover all of the silk screen area, just like that. Get this little, little corner right here. And then you scrape off your excess right back into the jar. You want to save all of that extra. You don't want to throw it away. Because this little jar will last so long. So if you're just now joining, um, we're doing a giveaway for a free project something that I've made and it's a surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. All you have to do to enter is share the video and then comment shared and I'll put your name in the bucket to do the drawing at the end of the video. All right, that's on there. We're gonna peel this one off. right in the water really quick. Look at that one. Kristen, I know you wanted to see this one. It turned out super cute. And then I'm gonna put some ribbon around it. All right, so I'm gonna let that one dry. I'll stick it up so you can see it. Kinda. Oh, throwing stuff. Hold on, I dropped my pen. We will do the next one, the diamonds in orange. I think I'm definitely gonna do that in orange. So that way that side will look cute together. Orange and black for Halloween. Need another paper towel. Thank you guys for sharing. Cassie, I'll put your name in the bucket for a drawing. Thank you for sharing. Cassidy W. All right, you are entered. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this off slowly. You don't want your transfer to fold up on you because then it'll get stuck to itself and 
trying to pull it back apart, you'll stretch it and it'll get messed up. So you don't want that to happen. Okay. You line this up. Okay, here we go. See if that's on there. Oh, I moved it. Okay. <laughs> it's like when I get it on there perfectly, I move it and then. <laughs> All right, so. I got it on there, making sure I don't have any air bubbles. I have chalk paste like all over me. I'm wearing it. It will wash off. So if you get it on your clothes or anything, it will not stain. It will wash right off. Just stick it in the wash. Don't panic. Now our inks will stain. Those are permanent. You have to be careful with those. Okay, so we said we're gonna do this one, an orange peel. Should have saved my stir stick. I'm going through stir sticks like crazy over here. Okay, this orange needs like a squirt of water. Needs to loosen up a little bit. There's a fly buzzing around my head and it is driving me crazy. All right, here we go. That's perfect. See that? That's perfect. That's what you want. Okay. I'm going to use my, this squeegee's a little bigger, but it's called the small squeegee. All right, and we're just gonna get it all inside the silk screen areas right there. Let me get this little stem area. Get all the edges, bring it all the way down. A little bit goes a long way. So you see I just put like a couple of dabs of the paste on there and then I'm just spreading it around and if you have good consistency in your chalk paste like the yogurt consistency you're gonna it's gonna spread like butter so easy it's so easy this is really relaxing so like if you're having a stressful day I come in here <laughs> it's just so relaxing and I don't know it's like aesthetically pleasing to just spread the paste around All right, so we got all of that on there. I'm gonna peel this one off. Oh, look, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that one goes perfect with the orange or with the black stripes. <laughs> yes, like butter, Erin. Exactly. Look, aren't they cute together? Those are so cute. I love it. So now, like I said, these are reversible. You have front and back. So on this side, we can do um, like fall theme colors. So that way you can have these out for Halloween on this side. And then once Halloween's over, you can turn them around. And then you can stick Thanksgiving type stuff on here and then have those out for Thanksgiving. So they're really like versatile. Okay, so this one has the dry. This one is already dry. So see, it goes on wet, but it dries hard. Let me make sure my hand is dry because it will smudge if my hand is wet. But see, I could rub my hand over it really hard and it's not coming off. Okay, so now, this one, I have an idea to do um, Thanksgiving themed. So I'm gonna take out um, 
my Give Thanks transfer. And I'm going to use a pattern on the big one. And then I'm going to use this on the small one. So I'm going to do this for Thanksgiving theme. It's going to be cute. And then I will do, you guys, let's see. I will do this other tall transfer on the other side of the tall one that we just did once it dries. Okay. Okay, here we go. So this side's dry. <laughs> I love it too. It's so cute. And it's so easy. Okay, my transfer keeps trying to fall off. I have it stuck over here. <laughs> I don't want it to fall off, so I'm like, I keep catching it. Here we go. Okay, so this one, I'm going to stick on here the Give Thanks transfer and I'm just going to use green and orange for this design so if you guys are just tuning in we are going to do a giveaway at the end of tonight's video for a free project that I made it's going to be a surprise all you have to do to enter is share the video and comment shared and then I will put your name in the bucket for a drawing for a free price. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the vines in green. And then I'm going to do the rest of it in orange peel. I should have used my multi-tool for this, the little detailed areas. It probably would have been easier to get that spot I was just in, but that's okay. We're winging it. Got it. Oop, I got a little bit in the T, but that's all right. I don't mind. Use curry, too. I could do the curry. I could do that in the um, forgive thanks. You like that curry color, too, huh, Kristen? It is perfect for fall. I'll do that. I'll do the pumpkin in orange, and then I'll do the words in curry. I've been using that one a lot, too, for all of this fall stuff. <laughs> Alright. Here's the curry. It's like a mustardy, brownish color. It's just the best color for fall. I did a lot of designs with this one. I even have it in ink too. All right, let me get a little bit there, a little bit here. I'm gonna spread it around. <laughs> oh, I probably loaded this up way too much, but it's all right, we save it by scraping it right back into the jar. I was gonna do the other two patterns, but then I just thought for Thanksgiving, I have this transfer, which is the perfect size for this little pumpkin. So I was like, oh, that'd be cute. I'm gonna do a pumpkin with patterns and then a pumpkin with the give thanks on it. That would be perfect for Thanksgiving decorating. Okay, and now the orange for the pumpkin. Do I have an air bubble? It kind of looks like I have an air bubble right there. Hopefully not, I think it might just be where it had folded up last time when I was washing it. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm using the bigger squeegee because it already has the orange on it, so. All right, there we go. So we got all three colors on. Let's 
go ahead and peel it up. See what it looks like. Look, it's so cute. I'm so glad I thought of that idea because look, isn't that adorable? That's going to be really cute with the other matching, um, with the other pattern on the big side of the, this other pumpkin. I love it. It is so pretty. And then I'm going to put some ribbon around it in a minute. All right, so we're going to let this one dry. Can you see if this one's dry? Yep, this one's dry. It's already dry. So now what, um, color should I do this one in to match to match our other pumpkin you think curry or orange thank you Carrie I love it too it's isn't it fun it is like the best ever I love these little pumpkin cutouts I'm gonna get a bunch more and do all the colors I want to do some in purple and black. They're so much fun. Okay. Let me, um, let me close some of this up because I don't want it to get dried out. And then accept the curry because I'm going to use that for this one, I think. That one is probably the best match for our little give thanks pumpkin. It'll match it perfectly. Green or curry? I will do whatever I see more um, comments of. So tell me in the comments which color you want to see on the last side of the pumpkin patterns for this one. While I close some of this up and clean up. I also have the bumblebee yellow too. That might look cute with this. I've seen a bunch of curry. Okay, we'll do that. We're going to do the curry. Okay, and then we'll decorate them and they'll be all done. And then we'll do our drawing. Okay. Hey, Erica, you shared. Let me get my <clears throat> pen. Erica, thank you for sharing. I keep sharing. Okay, you're entered, Erica. You're in the drawing. All right, so curry it is. You flip this one over. And, oh, I need to dry off my squeegee too. Or wipe it off, because I need to use this big one for the, the big one. Sorry, you guys. I really need a sink in here to do all this. I need a sink to, um, to wash off transfers as I work because that would really come in handy. Okay. Let's get our transfer on there. This is our last one we're going to do. Okay, so um, this I'm going to have to reverse. See that? This is the sticky side. But because my pumpkin, my other side, is going the other way. Actually, you know what? I think it'll be fine. I don't think I have to reverse it, actually. Ugh, it's sticky. Hold on. There we go. No, I may have to. Yeah, because it's... Because my stem's going the other direction. So I may have to reverse my transfer so that way it goes on the right way on my pumpkin. Let me see how I want to do this. I'm going to have to get my transfer to stay still while I do it. I don't know if I could like 
wrap this. Now, let's see here. Hold on. I think I'm gonna try and use the table <laughs> to get it to stick down. onto my pumpkin. Like I'm gonna use the table and wrap it around my pumpkin. Ah! Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, hold on. Let me think how I wanna do this. Hmm. I have some tape that I used the other night when I reverse my um, when I reversed my little hedgehogs, I don't know if y'all could see it. They're on the wall now. You can't see it in the video. I had to reverse my hedgehogs and I had to tape it down. That way it would because your transfer is only sticky on one side, so you have to be creative sometimes. Okay, I just don't want it to move. So, I'm going to tape it down to do my other side. Here we go. Hang in there, bear with me. Okay. Flip it upside down and have the top half white and the pattern below. Hmm. You mean and just paint the stem a different color? Is that what you mean, Kristen? Or just leave the stem white? I could do that, but I have it on there pretty good now. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't want it to bleed. I'm super scared it's going to bleed. I don't want it to bleed. Let me see something. Anybody else have a suggestion? <laughs> no, I think this will be fine. I think it'll work. We will just wing it and see how it works. So because it's silk screen, it is reversible. You can use it if you flipped it over with the sticky side up if you wanted to, but because the sticky side is up, it's not going to stick to your surface. So you have to figure out a way, usually taping it is what we do to um, keep it onto the surface that we want it on. So I'm just gonna go easy on it with the squeegee. And I think, I think it'll be good. Okay. Just gonna go lightly like that. Gonna take my time. I'm just gonna hold it down as I go. get this corner. I'm like focused really hard right now. <laughs> I am super focused trying to make sure that I don't mess it up because I want this to turn out super cute for you guys. All right. I think I did it. I think I made it. Scrape that off. So I just reversed it and I taped it to the table and used what I had to get it on there on the other side the way I needed. All right, here we go. Let's take this bottom one off. Here we 
go. Ready? Look, it turned out perfect. It turned out perfect. Like, it's so cute. Look at this. Oh, that is perfect. That was a good choice with the curry and the orange and the green and then doing this one and just the curry. That worked out super cute. Look at that. Okay, so we have the one side with the orange and the black. Oh, I just touched my design. It's all right, I'll put some ribbon on it and you won't see it. And then I got the other side Thanksgiving theme. So cute. I touched it just now on my thumb and I messed it up on top, but it's okay. I could go back once it dries with my transfer and I could redo just the top and it'll be perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna let that dry. Put my little stir sticks and everything away. Thank you, look how, isn't it pretty? And you guys can do this. It's so easy, so simple. Anybody can do this. These are like perfect little um, make and take gifts. You can make these for people. You could do this as like, if you're going to a dinner party for Thanksgiving, you wanna bring the host a gift. You can make them a gift. Everybody loves made at home gifts. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry for a few seconds. So if anybody else wants to enter into the drawing, like I said, all you have to do is comment, share the video, and then comment shared. And then once I see that you commented shared, I will put your name down for, for the drawing. And then whoever wins, I will contact you and you will be getting a free gift from me. Isn't it beautiful? I love them. Okay, so I think on this one, I have some ribbons. This is gonna be hard because I have like Halloween ribbon and then I have like plain neutral stuff. And I wanna put a ribbon on here that, like this one I think would be super cute on this side for Halloween. Or I have this one, which is stripey. That would look cute on both sides. Okay, so I think I'm going to do that. Put some ribbon around it. So we're gonna do the drawing in just a minute. I'm waiting for this one to dry. And slap some ribbon on it and then we're gonna do the drawing. So if you guys are watching and you liked any of these projects, and you were like, oh my gosh, I wanna make what that girl just made. Um, all of this stuff is available on the website. The link, it should be right at the bottom underneath all the comments. And if you just click on that, it brings you right to my website. You can find these pumpkin cutouts on there. You can find all the chalk paste colors that I used on there. You could find all your tools, like your squeegees, everything, all your transfers. Um, if you have any questions and need to find help, you need help finding anything, just message me and I will get back to you right after the, the video. So I put some ribbon on this one and I could even turn that one around and put it for the fall side too. That ribbon would match. You guys know, I'm, you could see what I'm talking about. Okay. And then on this one, the dry it, it's still a little tacky, but 
ahead. I can go ahead and put a ribbon on that one too. I will put ribbons on them later and post a picture. So let me recap what we did. We did this one, Spirit of Halloween. And then we put a little cute ribbon around this one. I love this one. This is going right up tomorrow. And then we did our reversible pumpkin cutouts. We did those. All of this stuff you can find all on the website, except the ribbon. Okay, so we're going to do the drawing now. Thank you guys all for sharing. If you have any questions, just message me. I will get right back to you after the video. Alright, here we go. You guys are really awesome. I think I might do one more name after this. Audrey, do you want to come in here and pull the name? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Audrey pull the name. Just reach your hand in the bucket. She's gonna pull the name because she's staring at me anyways through the window waiting for me to get done. So I'm gonna let her do the do the name. Kristen. Kristen B. Kristen, you were the first winner. I'm going to do one more since you guys were so awesome sharing. Okay, shuffle it around a little bit. Shuffle it around. So the first winner is Kristen. She pulled out the... Oh, oh do it again. Throw them back in there. She pulled out two on accident, so she's redoing it. One more name. Aaron. And Aaron. Kristen and Aaron, you guys were both the winners for tonight's drawing. Thank you guys for sharing. And I will message y'all after the video and um, get you your prizes. All right, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I think tomorrow I will do... Or maybe not tomorrow, but maybe this weekend. Stay tuned. Follow my page. Just go like my page if you want to see more videos. I will post on there like 15 minutes or so when I'm about to go live. And I'm going to do, I have some more projects I'm going to do this weekend probably. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to hop off here. Thanks for watching. Okay. Oh, wait. trying to click the button and it won't let me. Okay. There